or the extent of the damage. Just last week, a $25 billion settlement was reached with the federal government and five of the nation's banks over foreclosure fraud. Wisconsin will be getting a portion of that money. Although Governor Walker says most of that money will go to help homeowners in need, some say they're not happy with how it is being spent. Fox 6's Laura Langamo explains. $140 million. That's how much Wisconsin is getting from the foreclosure fraud settlement. But the people in this crowd say they're upset about where this money is going. We realize that there are budgets and there are agendas, but there are people that come first. People that are already suffering, people that have lost their homes, people that have been displaced. Now they get robbed again. The organization Milwaukee Inner City Congregations Ally for Hope, or MICA, along with several Milwaukee city leaders, gather to draw attention to this issue. They disagree with Governor Scott Walker's plans to use about $26 million from this settlement to fill gaps in the budget. It is wrong. It is an unconscionable bait and switch for the state of Wisconsin to take money that has been set aside for neighborhoods that have been devastated by the foreclosure crisis and use it to balance their unbalanced budget. Governor Walker's press secretary, Colin Worwey, says, quote, Governor Walker supports allocating the funding from the banks based on the terms contained in the settlement. The vast majority of funding from the banks will go to Wisconsin homeowners, end quote. In Milwaukee, Laura Langamo, Fox 6 News. A local author celebrates Black History Month with an important lesson to students, hopefully one.